I'm going to talk about real estate investment tonight. If you've been reading those recent books in the bookstores and you've been attending seminars by the, uh, the criminal uh, uh, gurus, get rich quick gurus, or you've signed up for mentoring, you're going to wonder what subject I'm talking about tonight. Because I'm hardly ever going to say anything that you ever heard those books or, or those gurus. Uh, and there's a simple reason for that. They're wrong. And I'm right. Uh, and, and, and that's not even the way to put it. They're not interested in what's the best way to invest in real estate. They're interested in what's the best way to get you to take your credit card out of your pocket. So I, I'm trying to figure out what you need to know. And that's what I tell people. And then uh, those guys are trying to find out what you want to hear. And that's what they're going to tell you. That you're going to, you're going to take my seminar tonight, two weeks from now, you're going to go to closing and put $50,000 in your pocket. But if you're that dumb, I don't want you in the room, because I don't know how to do that. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Russ Wickle book I read by somebody, well, uh, you know, we, uh, we had this much rent, and then we had this insurance, and this taxes, and this uh, utilities. Excuse me? Three? There's only three operating expenses. No vacancy loss, no repairs, uh, no uh, uh, collection losses, uh, you know, the bigger building, no employee payroll. Uh, who are you kidding with this? Uh, not counting the transaction costs, not counting the value of your time, not counting the capital expenditures that you do, plus you're leaving off half the darn operating expenses that are recurring. I hear people sometimes at these uh, goofy get rich quick seminars saying, well, can, uh, is there risk? Can I get hurt? And the guy said, not if you know what you're doing. <laughs> well, what I just listed is what you can know what you're doing. Now, could I get hurt as a property manager? I'm a damn good property manager. So if I manage property, the vacancy of collection losses and the hassles and the litigation is going to be far lower than if somebody else does it. Not zero, but far lower. So that's a situation where I have a skill and I can apply it, and the building will do much better as a result. But Bruce Norris predicting the future of market values in real estate, it's nuts. It's not doable. So he might have spent more time learning that than I spent learning property management. But he was trying to know the unknowable. And when you try to know the unknowable, you're spinning your wheels. I have been warning my readers not to lie to lenders for years. People say, well, they never do anything. They never prosecute. And I said, well, someday they may. And I'm reading more and more articles now that they are. The taxpayers are pissed. And the taxpayers are having to put up money to cover these, these guys. We all just talk about the poor homeowner who bought his home and now he's losing his home uh, and he's an innocent bystander. Bull. He lied on his mortgage application and uh, he uh, also was irresponsible. He knew he could not make the payments. He did it because he thought the value was going to keep going up like it had and he was going to get rich. There's a thousand ways to skin a real estate cat where you're making deliberate profit. You're not just buying a property, cross your fingers and hope it goes up in value. That's what I'm about. Active techniques.